Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video on machine learning and algorithm in MATLAB tutorial, we are going to discuss outlier detection and removal. Okay, this is very very important step in the data pre-processing stage. Okay, that is before deploying your data to machine learning models and train your model using your data, you must uh, take care of the outliers. So what are outliers? Outliers are nothing but uh, some value which are deviated with respect uh, which are deviated from other values by a huge amount okay like for example you are feeding one google form for survey and in a particular answer instead of writing 1.3 by mistake you have written 13 so uh, you just due to just uh, not giving the point the value of the uh, data is deviated in a very high amount with respect to other response right suppose that uh, answer has uh, value ranging from 1 to maximum 5 but uh, you have given 13 there so basically that is called outliers okay so which are the data which is uh, comparatively very much different with respect from other data okay so an outlier is an observation that lies an abnormal distance from the other values in a random sample from a population for example 55 88 90 93 94 here 55 is abnormally uh, distant from the particular rest four values so it clearly indicates that there is a possibility that 55 is an outlier okay so these uh, things we need to take care of and uh, then only we should uh, train our machine learning model using the data otherwise what will happen our data our model accuracy will decrease why because suppose you are having a data points like this okay then uh, it is actual data point and as a result if you apply some uh, suppose linear regression then you will be getting one straight line least square line like this but suppose due to some mistake here one outliers come and due to that to fit that uh, to fit all the data points properly your uh, long predicted linear regression line may go like this all right so basically this will give to this may lead to wrong results so always we should remove the outliers from our data set and then only we should train now there are several ways to remove outliers one possible way i am discussing okay it is quite standard and follows in practical machine learning projects also so what we do first of all we calculate the z score Z score. Remember what is Z score? Already I have discussed in feature feature scaling. This feature scaling that is standardization. Z score is nothing but x minus mu by sigma. Whatever you have studied in statistics, where mu is the mean of the data set, sigma is the standard deviation of the data set. And as a result, we will be getting one normal distribution of our data. And there is one general convention like this that if the data is deviated more than three standard deviation then that may be possibly one outlier so as a result we can say this part the whatever data is placed in the left hand side of this uh, line and the right hand side of this line those possibly outlier okay so now let us directly go to the code first of all i'll be showing the code without using the matlab provided in build and then we will check the inbuilt okay so here is the simple code clc clear all close all and then i have taken data point x equal to 57 59 60 100 59 58 57 58 so on and here you can see this particular data 300 and rest all are like within 100 only so there is a possibility there's that this data is an outlier okay all right now we are calculating the mean and standard deviation and we are calculating the z score that is z equal to x minus i z x minus e by si there is x minus mu by sigma and then we are making one output array to store our out index which are basically uh, not outliers and here we are storing uh, basically logical 0 or 1 if that is outlier then uh, one will be stored if there is not outlier zero will be stored and then we are traversing in our uh, data for i equal to one colon length of z where z is z score of our data x if z of i less than equal to three and then uh, z of i greater than equal to minus three okay because see both side 
this left hand side and this right hand side both should be satisfied right so that you have to give these two condition either less than equal to 3 or greater than equal to minus 3 then that is not an outlier so output will be storing that particular index in output and for the logical array which will be uh, showing us that whether outlier or not will be storing 0 because that is not an outlier okay else k equal to k1 that means we are storing 1 that will indicate the outlier index and we will not give that particular index element as output so we are not storing anything in this particular else case we are not storing anything in output okay in this if else in this for loop and then finally our data will be having w equal to x of output which will be storing the data without outlier let us check so suppose my x is this one so if you run our previous code you will be getting k value as all zero ap apart from this one and this one is at which index? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. At 9th index, and you can check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. At 9th index, only 300 is present. So basically, this k is giving us one kind of logical array which is showing that whether uh, outlier or not. Okay. But in our output, we don't require this. So what we will be doing? If you run W, which is storing basically our output, you will be getting the data apart from 300. Okay, so this is one possible way to remove outliers. Another example I can show you. Suppose my input is 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 1, 1, 15, 2, 2, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2. It is quite clear that this may be possibly one outlier. So what we'll be doing, we'll be applying same code and we'll be getting k value as 1 here, which is denoting this particular 15. And if we check output, our output w will be having all the elements of our input apart from the value 15. Okay, using this outlier is removed. Now, uh, this is all right, but uh, the writing the code uh, may look lengthy. So there is one simple inbuilt way also in MATLAB. Let us check that is outlier is the function and then you pass your data and then inside quotation you write mean okay it will return true for all elements more than three standard deviation from the mean okay and uh, true for all those elements which are basically more than three standard deviation from the mean means those are basically outliers so using is outlier we can easily get the index or the data which are basically outlier okay so like for example i have taken the first uh, example which i have shown earlier where 300 is the outlier and we are applying here is outlier x min okay as we are not storing our logical array to some variable by default it will be stored in ands and it will be giving output as logical array 1 cross 15 so 15 columns one row and see here you will be getting one which is indicating at this particular position uh, outlier is present okay so using is outlier a comma mean you can get the idea of the outlier present in your data set all right i hope this concept is clear to you this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching